Welcome to Ask the Linwood Cop, and we're back with Lisa Wellington from Crime Prevention. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Thank you for having me. Yeah. We're going to talk today about a very important topic, which is personal safety. Mm -hmm. And the conversation you and I were having earlier was the fact there is quite a spectrum of behaviors that people might exhibit when they talk about their own personal safety that mm -hmm. might be good to be aware of. So tell me more about that. Yeah. Uh, what we find is that um, there really is a spectrum of perception about personal safety. And at one end are people who put their head in the sand and they think nothing is going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. They can't imagine they're ever going to be the victim of um, a thief or a, a burglary or anything like that and they just go about their life um, w without any concern whatsoever um, and don't take basic precautions and then we have at the other spectrum people who are hyper vigilant um, uh, almost paranoid and and really paralyzed in their fear that um, something's going to happen they assume something's going to happen to them and we feel that there is a sweet spot in the middle there where um, you don't have to be feeling that way, and it's a lot safer space to be. Right. So, f for example, if you are maybe wanting to protect yourself, say, from a home burglary or something mm -hmm. like that, um, as you look at that spectrum, some people would just leave their doors unlocked and maybe right. just go off and never take any, you know, leave their windows unlocked, never take any precautions, and the other person may be kind of in their home just worried about what's going to happen to them. So mm -hmm. what would be the middle ground in that situation? Right. Well, uh, that's specifically around burglary, and I think each kind of offense has its own uh, precautions yeah. to take. Yeah. Um, the main thing to keep in mind, <clears throat> excuse me, is to... Um, take those basic precautions so that you can uh, relax in your life and yet still be aware um, and mindful of your environment that right. you're in. We don't want people to be hypervigilant or too careless. And um, in the example of, of the uh, uh, home protection, you would do the basics like lock your door when you leave regardless. Right. Um, when you leave your house, um, it's good to have lights that come on and off, uh, have neighbors know that you're going to be away so they can keep their, uh, their awareness up uh, if there's any changes in the environment. So just some basic common sense uh, items are good to practice so that when you leave, you can relax. Right. And I'm sure that's true uh, in that spectrum discussion as well, just using common sense, making sure that you are aware of what's going on, but yet not being so worried that you right. are paralyzed, as you right. say. And when you're going out, um, when you're going out and about, it's a good idea to those basic precautions. Personally, would be uh, women who are carrying bags, yeah. men also, um, uh, satchels and, and sorts should be zipped. Uh, they shouldn't be easily accessible by somebody who's bumping up against you, especially if you're in public transit or in your in highly populated areas. So just those basic things. Uh, men who are carrying wallets, if they keep a a uh, rubber band around their wallet, whether it's in the front or the back, it's um, much harder to steal that with, and um, not be aware of it. If mm, uh, somebody is tip. taking a wallet out of your back pocket, uh, if there's a rubber band around it, it's going to have some resistance in the fabric and you're going to know that something's happening there. So. Those are just a couple of tips um, to keep in mind. Okay. Well, I think the bottom line is is just to be aware of your surroundings as you're going about your day or whatever you're doing to make sure you are safe. Personally. So that you can relax yeah. and be mindful of your environment. Very good. Good tips. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. We'll be back again soon with another episode of Ask the Lynn with Cobb.